The water bills went up 60%. There is no way that we can continue to pay water bills like this. This is ridiculous. The water, this water is just like liquid gold now. They should just stop everybody's bill right now. Let them pay what they can and start them over again. They should do something. This do not make sense. Who's paying for this? This has been running ever since Thanksgiving. This don't make sense. Certainly, I think we have the compassion for the people. But the business responsibilities, I think, limit how compassionate we can actually be. The water department turns water off. That should be illegal. As opposed to that, they make it illegal for us to turn it back on. Water may be free. Stand outside with a bucket when it rains. Processing and delivery costs money. And as long as you're discussing free water versus not free water, you're not discussing reality. There is no free, there's only who's paying. We have never asked for free water in Highland Park. We want to pay for what we use, That's we want right. it to be That's fair, right. and we want some kind of justice here. This little bitty hamlet, 20, 30 years ago, had 60, 61,000 people. And the city was really humming because um, Chrysler uh, located on Oakland Avenue in Highland Park. So a lot of people in Highland Park had jobs. Highland Park used to be, you know, this small, very comfortable place to live, and now it's just the opposite, and we're just being pushed out. I've lived in this house for over 40 years, raised a son here. As you can see, the house is up for sale. They hike people's water bills up. They attach it to your property taxes, uh, and uh, you lose your home. Like I said, this is the newest form of urban renewal. When you're here in the lion's mouth, with his jaws closing down on you, you've got to make decisions that, that are going to make sure you survive. I have the responsibility of taking whatever steps are necessary to get the city financially healthy again. I have all of the powers that the mayor had, and I assume that the purpose of creating this sort of dictatorship is to make sure that you get it done and get it done fast. They find somebody outside of the city to run these operations, and they just uh, rape and gut the city from anything that's still left. The first thing you would think a person would look at is what's the biggest thing there is to sell so that we can get out of this debt? It would be a water plant. Somebody is going to be hired on a contractual basis to run the water department. They are trying not to use the word privatize. They are using the word manage. They will get 90%. Highland Park will get 10%. <laughs> does, I mean, does that sound like someone is managing your system for you? No, it isn't. When you have outsiders that they don't even drink the water and you have them over your water department, uh, anything could happen. My son and I decided that we had had enough of the water problems in Highland Park. And this is when I started talking to people. I started talking to uh, uh, Marion. I started talking to Maureen. This is how the Highland Park Human Rights Coalition was formed. The nine-month bill was how much? Yeah, that was the nine-month bill. Mm -hmm. You know, we're losing out on everything. And one the, of the water, things that we education, have. we're losing out completely. There was a special meeting called by two members of our council, okay? They want to turn our water system over to a private corporation. That what I feel happen. has happened is that all of you have become friends and you have forgotten about the business of this city. When we had our first protest, which was on the 20th, the following day is when my son died. He didn't feel good the day of the protest and he asked me if I would stay home with him and I said, yes, I will and he died the following day, but he was one of the water warriors also. Yeah. We need to do
do something that gives our folks an opportunity to get back on tap with their dollars, Take a vote. with their water needs, and to move this city forward. Now you can vote, talk vote. what you want to. You came up with no vote, proposal. Vote. And you are lying. No, Miss Johnson, nothing. We did come up with one. He has it in his pack. Nobody wanted to listen to what we had to say. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Do not lie. This water issue is so profound. Uh, I had no idea that we would be engaged in this horrific fight to have water recognized as a human right.